You were at Lake Rant where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Azone who says, Please rant about Trigun in general. Failing that, feel free to rant about anything you'd like to. Well, I'll rant about Trigun because little known fact, because I never bring it up and because I haven't watched the show in uh, like 15 years, Trigun was my favorite anime for a brief time. Um, basically... During a period where I wasn't really watching as much anime, like after, like 2004, I was getting more into video games, and I was kind of just watching what was on Adult Swim occasionally, um, but Trigun just kind of endured in my mind as a show that I continued to think was good, um, you know, and I just kind of thought, maybe this is actually my favorite, but I have not rewatched it since back then, uh, except for little bits and pieces. I've seen, like, some of the early episodes and stuff, and, um... I think it's a really interesting show in that the setting is incredible. The idea of the desert planet with all the giant light bulbs, um, just like some of the stuff that is encountered throughout the the towns, like just the idea of like a sci-fi western set on a different planet is really cool. It's a great combination of elements and it looks awesome. Vash the Stampede is an iconic character design, um, you know. All the characters are strong and memorable, you know, Wolfwood, fucking Millie, and I say all the characters, but I can never remember both of their fucking names of the two girls. Whatever. Um, the, the Bernardelli Insurance Girls. I can remember the name of the company, but not one of the girls. How the fuck is that possible? Um, the soundtrack is phenomenal. Suneo Imahori, one of my favorite composers, one of my favorite soundtracks. I love the noise, like, it's one of the only soundtracks that has, like, noise music on it and, like, really gritty experimental shit. Um, and it's also got a fantastic OP and ED, uh, as I talked about in my OP and ED lists. Trigun, um, plot-wise, like, the early episodes, because they're kind of episodic, it takes a while to really get into the groove of the show. Um, I do think, though, that some of those early episodic episodes are great. Like, I think the first two episodes of Trigun are probably, like, the worst ones. And it's not even that they're bad. They're kind of just establishing the nature of this adventure. They're just very, like, smaller stories that don't have as much to do with the attitude and themes of the show. Whereas once you get into, like, episode three, I think, where the guy makes all the rifles for everybody in town, that is, like, much more aligned with the themes, which are, of course, of pacifism and the difficulties of remaining pacifistic in a world where there are you know, sadistic criminals out to kill you. It's like Vash doesn't want anyone to die. He doesn't want to kill anybody, but he, in his effort to make that possible, you know, causes mass destruction everywhere he goes. Um, you know, it leads to the deaths of people. His, his pacifism does not ultimately result in happiness for everybody, but he, you know, believes in that as a possibility and is constantly tested on that throughout the series. And, um, you know, it definitely gets more interesting when you get into, like, the second half and they start introducing all of the, uh, the 13 villains that work for Knives who all have, like, their own cool gimmick and, you know, individual episode plots. There's some really dramatic, memorable scenes later in the show. Uh, the music, again, just, I'm just thinking about that. <laughs> Song that plays in, like, the next episode previews. Um, yeah, pretty cool shit. I mean, the animation's inconsistent. Not all the episodes are necessarily interesting. I'm sure if I rewatched the show, I wouldn't give it, like, a 10 out of 10, but I am interested in seeing it again, because I remember having strong feelings about it at a time, and, uh, you know, I, um, I'm always curious to return to an old favorite.